if you need help building your team or selling your coins make sure you head on over to cheapmaticcoins.com for the cheapest prices fast delivery and 24-hour customer support and use code wolf for 15 percent off yo what's up everybody it's king wolf welcome to today's video today's video man i'm gonna show you guys a one play touchdown that you can use against cover three i want to say that there is a cover four i could be wrong i think it's just the cover three and then a couple other places you could blend this in form a little mini scheme for yourself we're going to be in the oakland raiders playbook so make sure you drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel for more content become a member of the wolf pack also if you're struggling with big dime 146 right i have a video out there that shows you guys how to completely stop the defense with certain plays in your playbook so make sure you check that video out it's on my channel but we're going to be like i said raiders playbook and all you want to do is you want to come to the strong close okay and set up your audible depth chart how you want however to run the one play touchdown, you're going to need your fastest wide receiver. Now, we could put Lockett over there, but I think Metcalf, he's faster than Lockett by like one. I think he's, I think he's like one. Maybe he's a 94 and Lockett's a 93. I could be wrong. But I like Metcalf in this position. Um, And then you could probably put like your fastest tight end, fullback, whoever you can get in this position right here with Hollister. Uh, put your fastest there because you're going to be able to use other routes and stuff like that i'll show you guys what i mean okay let's just walk through this so make sure you hit a like on the hit the like button if you don't mind and let's get right into this so the first play that we're going to talk about is the one play td and it's going to be called the pa deep it's very easy to run and what i like about this play right here is the way the route is ran this one gets open kind of fast this is 3d it gets open kind of fast but look at the play art for the b route you see that right there all we have to figure out is how to get this guy open and and glitch the corner out and cover three. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cancel play action, right? This one has play action, yeah. Cancel the play action. We don't want play action in this play. You don't want play action in pretty much no play uh, in this game. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna block RB. Then we're gonna motion out lock it and put him on a comeback route. Last adjustment, put A on a streak. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna cancel the play action. You're gonna block RB, okay? And then you're gonna motion out X, comeback route and streak A. Now. It seems like it's a lot, but it really isn't, man. Once you get the adjustments down, like once you get them, like if you're new to Madden, if, if you're a newer player, you just have to keep practicing those quick adjustments, man. So it becomes second nature. Like I don't even think about it as I'm doing these no more. I just, okay, come back, this and that, block, double team, slide. Everything is just like really quick for me. But if you're barely learning Madden, man, you have to practice because what a lot of people don't get on my channel is that there are people that are new to Madden. They don't know the quick adjustments, man, like you and I do. So you're like, oh man, that's too easy. It's too easy for us, but for the newer players, it's hard because they're, it's new for them. Now, now you need to set up your protection. If you don't have a mobile QB, right? Say you're using like Golf or Brady or somebody, then you need to set up your protection according to who their best pass rusher is. And what I mean by that is if you look at Cameron Jordan to the right, he's got that X under him, right? He's got abilities, meaning you're going to have to uh, probably double team him by pressing LB or L1 right stick down and then selecting him for double team. Okay. But me, since I have escape artists with dead eye, I double team the guy that I want to roll out to toward. So I'm going to double team the left side guy and then slide protect his way. Okay, now in play action, you don't really see the slide protection art, but it's there. And then all I want to do is look for Metcalf over the left side of the field. So boom, boom, I roll out. I wait for him to clear, 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 and then just throw this right here over the top, just like that. Now, there's going to be times where you catch it like that, and there's going to be times where you get a one-play touchdown. So we're going to keep running it, okay? Like I said, it's very easy to set up. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm going to double-team the left side guy, and then... Because I want to roll out his way. Boom. Now I'm going to roll out his way. And if you see how fast the B route develops, bro, it's it's really fast. You know what I'm saying? So what's happening is, is the comeback route is holding down that corner on the left side. Now, there are counters. You can put uh, the left side corner, if you're on defense, into a different blue, right? So that'll counter it. Um, but you got to be careful because the comeback routes, uh, it'll stay open if you do that. So it, it's it's chess. You can stop that deep throw, but you're going to give up the the, the comeback route. Because um, a lot of people are going to put that in the comments. Well, I'll just run an inside third or whatever. Like, whatever whatever defensive adjustments they want to make, right? But the thing is, is once you do that, now you're leaving open the comeback route. And the comeback route is going to be wide open once you change your blues up. So be careful. Understand what's going on whenever you make those adjustments. So, like I said, if, if you look at this play right here, if I can get the space, like, you see how open this guy gets right over the top? Now, 
There are faster wide receivers than Metcalf, obviously. You got the what? The 99 speed heel. You got uh, Marquise Brown. You have Goodwin. You have those players. Uh, if you're playing Mutt, I know you got fast receivers already, bro. You know what I mean? So that is the setup for that right there. Cancel the play action. Double team the left side guy's side. Like right here. I don't know if the left side guy is going to uh, uh, come in, but I'm going to double team him anyway because I'm going to assume he is. So this setup right here. So you see right there, now I'm able to just come out and then with Deadeye, throw the accurate pass. One play TD against cover three. Simple and easy. Now, let's talk about one or two more plays that you guys can blend in with this. Different routes to get open. There's actually a few plays in here that, that are pretty awesome. But one that's pretty good, it's going to be the mesh. Okay. Now, the mesh, you can run it like this. Let me show you guys what I mean. Uh, against any defense, you can run it. But in co against cover three, you can try to look for the X route. And what I mean by that is you're going to streak X. Okay. You're going to streak B. Leave RB where he's at. Uh, double team left side. And if you can catch him slipping, right, on defense with his middle blue, like let's say you can't tell in this, this defense is disguised. But if the middle blue is on the right side, the X route is going to be open for a one play TD. Now, the problem with this play is it doesn't happen all the time. You know what I mean? Like sometimes the blue is on like right here probably is going to be on the left side because your opponent is not flipping the play. This is the this is the AI doing it. So it's probably adjusting automatically. But there's going to be times where if you're if you come out on the right hash, right? You can come with the play on the other side, and when you get to the line, flip the play. And if your opponent doesn't flip the play with you, then you can run this setup and look for X. And that's one thing that you not you guys need to start implementing is flipping the play. So let's say your opponent comes out and cover three, right? And you run this play opposite to the right. Once I get to the line, I'm gonna flip the play and see if his blues move. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that you need to start looking for. Now. The corner route is a glitchy corner route. It's one of those glitchy corner routes, just like tied offset tight end and other formations, especially the ones for like the Dolphins playbook. Um, and then you got the flat route. So even if you can't hit the X route, you can hit the A or the RB route. So as I snap the ball here, we got a double team going on. Then I have A right here. Pretty much almost every single time, unless they're playing like purples and stuff, that's when you hit the flat route. So you're going to read it as a regular flood concept. But streak B, because if you can catch that blue slipping, I'm telling you, man. He's not slipping now, but you can catch him slipping. You see the A route right here? He's going to be open most of the time. But given given enough time, that corner will come back down to him. So right here, um, I'm just going to run zone weak. Let's fall down because it's three deep. And he still comes down on that corner. That that corner that, that's at the top, he'll, he'll still come down. But there's times that you can catch him slipping. You can even catch the AI slipping a little bit, bro. But I don't think they're going to slip right here. But this is a glitchy corner route. You see... What I'm saying, it's one play that you can implement into the scheme, into what you're doing with the strong close. But all I'm really trying to do is, is catch this guy slipping, but I don't think he's going to slip. Oh, no, he slipped right here. He slipped. You see what I'm saying? You see how he... Ah, that was just an ugly throw by Wilson. Real ugly throw. I didn't throw it right. But you see what I'm saying? Like how that guy eventually dips. You can try to catch him slipping like that, man. The other play is better. Oh, my goodness. Bro, get out of my way. <laughs> my own guy getting in my way, bro. I mean, you can't make that up. So simple. And you run it the same way uh, against any defense. So cover two, obviously the flood concept is going to work better against cover two. Cover four. But you want to look for this guy primarily. Now, if you have to hit the flat route, you hit the flat route. If you can hit that X route, you hit the X route. Okay. And then you could pretty much, if, you, if it's not cover three, do whatever you want with B. You can put him on a hitch route so he can be your playmaker. You know what I mean? Whatever you want. But I always like to catch people. So, you know, you guys know me. You see my gameplays. I'm constantly trying to throw the one play DD. So you see right here that this guy, and this is what I mean. You need your fastest guy on this side. And Russell Wilson's letting me down right now, bro. Okay, so that's that play. Um, another play, and also you can run the mesh concept. So it's dual drags right off the rip. So if you want to throw the drags, throw the drags. Uh, there's the wide receiver out as well. Uh, probably very good to use against cover two defense. And all you want to do is streak X, drag B, block the running back. I mean, block the fullback and the running back, okay? And then I always slide to the side that I think they're going to be at. He drops back into coverage, so it's all good. And then you're just going to read it like this. Look, you see A or B? <laughs> so I'm just giving you the play, some place to blend in with, with like the one play TD. So if you want to start using this, you can. So streaking X, dragging B. Double team the left side guy because I have escape artists and all that. So boom. 
this guy's going to be open pretty much all the time even in clouds against cover two that's what i'm saying it's very good for cover two you could try to throw it with the x route uh the way he is but i don't recommend throwing the play this way bro because it, it just seems like it's a bit harder you see what i'm saying it's not a lot of space probably have to settle for the drag i don't like doing that another thing that you can do is if you want to throw a different look is you can bring this guy over drag uh, streak x right now you have the corner route again and then drag the b route so it'll be it look like this see what i'm saying now you still have everything uh we got b like i said you're gonna have to pick and choose who you want but if you want guaranteed to where he's going to be open then you want to streak x and leave a where he's at because then that forces the zone to come down and play the drag almost every single time so right there is obviously hard flat but watch let me show you guys what i mean he's going to be open even in cloud flats and if you can throw your opponent off then that's just going to help you out and you can run this concept against any defense pretty much it's going to work uh, as long as the you like I said, you, you're trying to blend this all in so the user don't pick it up But you see like that's a cloud flat, but he has to drop down to the drag that leaves this route open very easily It's simple man. These plays are simple. Uh, they're simple And if we come back into the strong close and what I like to do is I'll blend this in with the strong H wing So you guys know that the stretch uh, From this formation is really good. You guys see me score a lot of touchdowns There's F trail and it kind of mimics the same formation, right? So it's strong close Unless your opponents really pay attention, he's not going to be able to tell. Also, the PA scissors, I think it has a glitchy corner route as well. So PA scissors against like cover three, I think it's got a glitchy corner route. Cancel the play. I just want to see because I, I want to say it does. Yeah, it, it has like a glitch, glitch. Oh my God, I had X, bro. Look at that. Did you guys see that? I missed that opportunity to throw that X route. Man, that was a messed up part. So you could probably do the same thing with PA scissors, but the blue's on that side now. So it's going to be too hard to throw it. So you see what I'm saying? Like you got routes that are going to get open in every single defense in the game. It's just, you got to make the right read, man. Look right here. I'm going to try to get this to be a one play TD. You see how that blues on the right side? I'm going to try. I'm going to streak B just, just in case. I'm going to try right here. Boom. He comes down. Come on, lock it. Come on, lock it. Get it, lock it. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? If you can catch them slipping like that, you're going to be okay. So there it is, man. We're going to end it on that note. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Uh, use this in conjunction with the strong H wing, man. Use stretch. Uh, if your opponent's running a lot of cover three, in the strong H wing is the cover four beater as well. I already went over that in another video. I'll show you guys in gameplay all the stuff that I'm using right here. I'm going to be using in gameplay because I just like it, man. I like running from under center with Russell Wilson with the escape artist and the dead eye. Uh, it's just it's very hard to stop man. It's like you can't even spy this guy because I'm just saying it's very hard. Love you guys man. Peace